Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the show. You look amazing, if I must say so. Have you done something nice with your eyes? It looks like you got new eyes. Congratulations. Your eyes look radiant today. Not that your old eyes didn't look good. It's just that these new eyes pierce through my soul like a dagger into my heart and hurt me. What are these, laser eyes? What are these? Cyclops eyes? Something's up, dude. Crazy. Got a ladder. All right, let's see where the letter's from. It's probably from Tom Nuke. Let's see. We have a special offer there in a sunny fine painting. There's always a wide variety of other items as well. Why not stop by? I think a fine painting. I think we have a fine painting. Just a reminder, all this week and next week, I'm going around early to check out the aerobics display that happens every morning but on saturdays and sundays it doesn't happen so there's no added at the beginning of this episode so now you know congratulations you figured it out so we don't have to do that don't worry about it we got a desert cactus cacti cactu who knows all right let's see what he's got the fine painting i think is the painting we have over and over and over again he seems to have an awful lot of fine paintings, but he doesn't seem to have... Oh no, that's not the one I was thinking of, but I think we still have that one. Pretty sure we have a fine painting. I was thinking of the one with the apples. Boy, he used to show that one all the time, and he's like, dude, get a second painting. Also, how can you have a painting of the, the painting with the apples? Whenever the real painting of the apples is in the museum. Hmm, something's up with that. That's very suspicious. Tom Nuke is up to something. He's a very bad man. He's a bad Tanuke. Today would be a great day for a potluck. I'll even bring the potato salad. Right? Alright. Thought there was going to be a little bit more to that, but nope. Just talking about potluck for some reason. Hello to you. Sunshine morning. Alright, interesting. I borrowed some sewing equipment. Alright, congratulations. I know all about these people. These people? These sewing people? These tailor types? Oh, this guy's still here. Roald. That was his name? Oh, I guess like the author. Roald Dahl. Hello. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. What's your name, Explody? Can't, well then, friend, count yourself among the lucky few. You get to hear the morning cry of Roel, the coolest camper of the known universe. You don't sound cool. I've been waiting for someone to show up. I wanted to climb to the summit of Mount Finkler, but I can't find the trailhead. Do you know where it is? You don't? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep looking. You're an odd duck. Are you here to go do some hardcore mountain climbing with me? Yes. You're kidding. No one ever wants to go with me. I uh, actually don't have enough climbing gear for both of us. Yeah, that's the deal. So why don't we play a game instead? Yes. Great. I need a little entertainment. Now here's what I'll do. I have some pictures of some fish I've caught before. But I also have pictures of fish caught by professional anglers. I want you to try to figure out which is which. If you get it right, I'll trade you for your desert cactus. But if you get it wrong, I get your desert cactus for free. Not my desert cactus. I worked so hard to get that desert cactus. Take a look at these photos. Aren't these some beautiful fish, B -b -b buddy? Here's a salmon. This is a bluegill. This is a string fish. And this is a large char. Smarty pants, which of these fish did I catch? You said large char, right? How did you know I caught the large char? Shoot, now I have to trade you something for your desert cactus, don't I? Okay. I hope you're happy with a slot machine. Not really. Thanks. One more, one more for the road. Yes, I've been waiting for someone to show up. I've heard there's lots of wildlife in this area. Do you know where the best viewing area is? What do you mean, just take a look around? All right, bye, Roald. Are you going to write a book? Are you going to tell me something about World War II? I don't remember. Was Roald Dahl in World War II? I think so. Everybody was in World War II at some point. I mean, not me, obviously, but... Or was I? Hmm... Maybe I was in World War II, and I just didn't tell anybody. See, that's the thing. Everybody who was in World War II wrote a book about it. But I didn't. I kept it a secret forever. Hi, Mitzi. 
Mitzi, do you want to hear about me in World War II? Do you check your mail every day? Yes, Mitzi, this is what you said to me yesterday. Please, Mitzi. Please. Uh, my adventures in World War II were very different from everybody else's. No. I, some people have... When they, if they were to hear... Like, there's a reason I have to go around and told everybody what I was up to. And if they knew what I was up to, some people might call me... Might, they might say that I was hiding... I dispute that. I don't think I was quote unquote hiding. And then other people would say that I was quote unquote a spy for the uh, like a double cross. I don't. I don't agree with this. I did not repeat. I did not. And you can you can mark this down. Anybody, take a note. I did not sell secrets to the Nazis for money. Okay. I didn't. I didn't do it. There's no, you have no proof to say that I did. How dare you? And anyway, the Allies won the World War II, so you know, if I even if I did sell them secrets, it do doesn't matter. But I didn't. All right, I want to make that very clear. I definitely didn't. I am no traitor to my country of whatever country I live in. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't sell any secrets. And also, hypothetically, let's just, let's, just, let's, just, let's, just, let's just go on hypotheticals right here. What if I sold them secrets that were the wrong secrets? What if I did that? that right? That would be pretty good if I did that. So, would a traitor give them false information? A traitor to the Nazi party would, certainly. But I uh, just not a big fan of the word traitor at all i think we could just do without it you know no need for it no need for it let's just uh, talk about something else change the time tune how dare you you are one bitch what is wrong with my time tune it's amazing do you seem to be able to run fast uh, i'm gonna get you and uh, not get you something good no we're keeping the time tune oh hi joan I was about to go check the museum to see if that um, the picture was in there, but I'll t I'll buy some turnips. I got loads of money. 85 bells per turnips. Oh yes, dude. Yes, 85 is a good price. Good price. We are gonna clean up on the turnip market. We're gonna have turnip soup. I don't know if turnip soup would be nice. Right, I'll buy 200 and then I'll call it a day. That's enough. That's a lot of money. I reckon we can make that money back, no problem. I think 100, 200, 200 is prop, proper, 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 pee, pee, pee. 200 is fine. You know. Anyway, I didn't sell Nazi secrets. Wait, I mean, I didn't sell secrets to the Nazis. But what if. Alright, fair enough. But what if I got Nazi secrets and so... Wait, no, I didn't sell them to the government. I ha gave them to the government with no issue? Uh-oh. Look, it's, we're getting tricky here regarding World War II. That's the one. That's a fine painting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Let's just say... And we'll put a cap on this. Because I feel like I'm getting into sticky territory. I wouldn't want the government to come and, and, and falsely arrest me as a, a traitor in World War II. Whenever I've made it clear that that's not what happened. But, you know, they might re re maybe they might see this this um, YouTube video and get confused. There's a lot of misinformation on the on the internet. You know, people people always trying to make you out to be the bad guy and uh, over-exaggerate some stuff. So, I'm going to try and put a, a pin on this and say... Once and for all, I didn't do anything. I'm totally innocent of all crimes. And also, the statute of limitations is definitely up for any crimes committed during World War II. I can't be held accountable for anything that could possibly be revealed. But I didn't steal a tank. People thought I stole a tank. I didn't steal a tank. Wh what side did I steal a tank from? Come on, man. Didn't I just say I didn't steal a tank? I didn't. 
So if I didn't steal a tank, then I couldn't tell you what side I stole the tank from. Because I didn't do it. I didn't steal it. So I can't help you there. But they're actually really easy to steal. Let me tell you. That's what I've heard. Tanks are real easy. The problem is trying to figure out how to drive them. But they're, it's, it's really easy to get the people out of the tanks. And to drive it away. That's easy. But getting the people out of the tank is, is, is a little trickier. But if you can do that, like... You can figure out how to drive a tank, you know. Just take a couple hours, figure it out. But I wouldn't know because I didn't, st I didn't steal a tank, so it's all moot anyway, as they say. I wouldn't know. I've no expertise in such a, a field, so I wouldn't worry about that. So I didn't steal a tank. I didn't steal an airplane because I don't know how to fly an airplane. But also, if I did, I wouldn't have stolen an airplane anyway. So that's fine. You know? And one final point I'd like to say. Re regarding the, the selling of secrets by me to somebody who may or may not have been Adolf Hitler. Why would anybody tell me the secrets? Right? Think about that. Think about that. Why would anybody come up to me and go, Hey, you want to hear some secrets? About World War Two, I'd be like, "Fuck yeah, dude! Tell me the secrets." No, that would never happen, would it? Nobody would ever tell me their secrets. So, with that in mind, I think we've conclusively proven that I had nothing to do with World War Two. I didn't. I didn't start it. I didn't. I didn't participate in it. There's no evidence that I was a traitor, or that I went and hid and in North Africa for a long time in order to get away. Uh oh. What no 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 what, what color do you paint it? Oh son of a bitch. Now my eyes pink. Pink I mean it's alright, but I'd rather black. You know, I'm a cool guy. Uh cool guys they gotta have black roof you know that's the rule cool guy gotta have black roof i don't make the rules all right i just enforce them we're gonna sell our crud real quick and then we'll call it a day but um i like anybody who said that i was involved in world war ii to please give me your names so that i can sue you for slander or a libel. Which one? Slander, I think, is the outlawed. And li libel is the written down. So if it was on the internet, it was probably written down. So that would be libel. Hey, anybody who said I was part of World War II and I was a traitor, just write your names down in the comments below. And I will sue you for money. And then that's the end of that. Okay? Because I didn't... You've got no proof. This is just baseless accusations. And I feel bad about it. You know, I'm just trying to live my life. You know, I'm just trying to feed my kids. Don't ask what I'm feeding them. Just so long as they're fed, then there's no problems, apparently. That's what I got told. You have to feed them something. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right. I'll feed them, you know. Uh, I'm just trying to get through life. I don't need this this World War II business. So that's it. That's going to wrap up today's episode. Please think before you say such slanderous things to me. You know, it's very hurtful. And uh, we'll call it a day there. But anyway, thank you very much for watching today's episode. We got through it. Tomorrow I'll go back to more getting the stamps. And we should be done in no time. I think we need 14 and we're up to 6. So we'll be there soon. But that's it. There we go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back again tomorrow. So, goodbye. <laughs>